The best thing is very natural food, biological food, healthy food, and uh, food that they can be in balance. And you know, with the three meals a day, they have enough calories. On a typical race day, um, one of our rowing team might wake up and have an early breakfast. Uh, that might be quite light, it might be toast and uh, yogurt and fruit, cereal, um, more or less depending on their size and uh, what, what event they're in. The lightweights obviously eat a little bit less than, than the heavyweights. Uh, then depending on their race time, they'll need to think about uh, what will sit comfortably with them, what kinds of foods might, might be good. Um, people have different superstitions about what foods are, are good before race day. Um, some of the rowers won't eat fish in a racing week. Um, other rowers feel that it makes them feel clean and fast and light, so they like that. So it's understanding your team and knowing what's going to make them feel good um, be before they race. So before race day, uh, it's about making sure they're fueling up properly. Nothing too uh, spicy or out there, but uh, they usually have breakfast, second breakfast, lunch, and then uh, some afternoon tea. Uh, before they have their main meal and just uh, cut plenty of carbs and protein ready to uh, race the following day. So on a training day when we have two or three sessions, I think they have six to seven thousand calories. On race day it's not so much. I think then we are at three or four thousand calories. Yeah, it's probably pretty pretty normal, but just an awful lot more food than than your kind of average average person. Uh, yeah, a lot of lean, lean meats and good carbohydrates. Carbohydrates is 60% of our base and we have another 30% of protein and then uh, the rest is the vegetable, vitamin and fat. Rowing is pretty intense so uh, steak and bacon and eggs is not going to work. Um, so looking at things that can be easily digested and, and feel comfortable when you're racing is one of the most important things. Every day you have to take a little piece of that what you like very much, so food must be a little bit fun. There has to be the right balance because they, they are fueling themselves to perform, uh, but they need, they need their, their off days in order to have a little bit of a relax because they can't be on it the 365 days of the year. Growers uh, have quite high energy needs, um, so it is okay for them to have quite a big variety of foods and they do so much training that they maybe don't need to be as strict as in some other sports. The best thing for nutrition for elite rowers is to, to have balance in all things. You should eat food and love it and enjoy it, um, but also eat with purpose and eat for performance and eat to, to feel good when you're rowing.